Got an early start on your morning drive. You might have driven past this. A 2 a.m. tractor trailer fire causing backups and more accidents on I 85 for about eight hours. WYFF News 4's Allie Miles talked exclusively with the driver of the tractor trailer. This is the truck that was carrying those cars, one of which caught fire. The driver was able to separate the front half of his tractor trailer and get at least three cars to safety. The others all burned up. When I looked in my mirror, I saw a big blade, so I went to the shoulder. When I got back to my fire stain, was too, I couldn't put it out. A terrifying sight in anyone's mirror. A tractor trailer carrying Subarus set on fire. The driver, Charlie Jones, thinks one of the cars was leaking. I was totally upset. I got so nervous. That one day I called my boss. I had my boss there. I called him. He tried to tell me to calm down. I couldn't come down because I'd never seen that. Nothing like that before in my life. Charlie's moved cars since 72. This was his first fire, and he says it was massive, like a two story building on fire. When the, the fire department finally got there, my whole trailer's on fire, but I did get my trailer hooked from the my tractor hooked from the trailer and got it out of the way. And you managed to save some cars, even. Yeah, I saved three of them, but the rest of them is gone. Three cars salvaged and already loaded on another truck. I'm sorry it happened, but there's a lot of more accidents that happened behind me. On the, on the, people just don't pay attention on the road. They need to pay attention. That's what they really need to do. And Charlie is already on to the next job. And you'll be back on the road soon? Oh, yeah, as soon as we get in. He got another truck waiting on when I get home. Like Charlie says, there is not a chance to just take a break, take the day off after this. These cars have to get where they're going. They will be headed to North Carolina. Allie Miles, WYFF News 4 in Anderson County. Two other major accidents followed after the tractor trailer caught on fire. Four miles down, a tractor trailer rear ended another one. And two miles from that, a tractor trailer hit a guardrail, sending two people to the hospital with non life threatening injuries.